Hello and welcome. My name is Daffy Roth and this is my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles for the Nintendo Wii. In our last episode, uh, we got through the... Uh, we beat the bat, so I believe we're going to be finished with the training facility. I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but if I remember correctly, we head into the lab coming up so so that's what we're going to be doing so uh as i as i did promise uh between every two episodes um i will go ahead and get the s rank and get the remaining um items uh the s rank so we can get the rest of the archives and whatnot so i did go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and uh dive into it shall we resident evil the Umbrella Chronicles. Okay, so up in the top here, we got the statues of good and evil. Uh, statues representing a demon and an angel used to open a door. A uh, briefcase, this leather conductor's briefcase, re uh, required two rings to open. Uh, relief of discipline, obedience, and unity. These three stone reliefs have a priest, a knight, and a slave engraved on them. All right, Billy Cohen's profile. Originally a second lieutenant in the USMC, he was sentenced to death for first-degree murder for his role in the death of 23 people. Billy is perceptive and can expertly handle any weapon. His body, hardened by military training, is a match for any monster in battle. He is a cynical man of few words, but possesses a keen sense of justice and a deep passion for his duty. Raccoon Forest notes. A large forest on the northern outskirts of Raccoon City includes the Arklay Mountains, a rich habitat home to a multitude of the area's woodland creatures. The abundance of life in the forest is one of the contributing factors to the widespread disper uh, dispersion and mutation of the virus resulting in biohazard. The Arklay Research Facility and Management Training Facility both lie within the forest. Notes. <laughs> it sounds like something bat better, right? Uh, a bat secondarily infected with the T virus, giving its heightened aggressiveness. It has a tendency to lunge at humans when it detects them. Its physical features are not much different from other bats that live in the raccoon forest, but its hostile behavior increases the chance of spreading the T virus. That's actually true. Bats are known to spread rabies and stuff, so. Infected bat notes. The infected bat is a creature that shows distinct mutations over other bat subjects. It is a prime example of a T-virus increasing the size of a highly compatible mammal. mammal. Its extraordinary developed uh, physique can reach a wingspan of up to 3 meters, and a strengthened muscle tissue enables it to carry a human being with ease. Its diet has been altered and now consists primarily of meat. In order to capture its prey, it signals accomplices who have aid with sonic waves. I tell you what, that is still one of the most annoyingest, one of the, one of the most ridiculous fights in all of freaking Resident Evil games. Um, I did also upgrade the guns, so, uh, we got the level 3, uh, both the level 3 ones, so. Let's see here. Alright, let's go. Billy and Rebecca discovered a ropeway under the church, a huge bat habitat, and rode it down to a factory. 
It was deep within that that the two found true the found true source of the monsters, the true source of the monsters. I'll bet we'll find the source of the problem down there. Let's go. I can upgrade my. I hit the wrong gun. The rumble. Alright. I am failing so bad right now. Up there! Watch out! Yeah, it's... Like... <sighs> Off to a great start, let me tell you. Alright, I'm gonna do something, actually. This is actually my uh I'll find the source of the problem down there. Let's go. Shot him. It's cool though. Serious controller issues. I think I got the controls fixed a little bit. Hey, look, that chair's still we there. We can get down using this. Well, we should we'd have had to go into that.
see, the problem is, it's like, I hit the key, but I don't think it's registering it like the way it should. But, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, I think I got it squared away somewhat. It looked like one of my keys was bound to another key. I bet we'll find the source of the problem down there. Let's so. go. We do have a monkeys coming up. Let's get ready. Oh crap, we only have 12 rounds though. It's fine. Up there! Watch out! Pick up the... <sighs> Honestly, I blame not being able to upgrade my freaking main weapon. It is kind of We can stupid. get down using this. Problem down there. Let's go. I'm not.
I say I got lucky there. We can get down using this. I can't throw the fucking grenade. I bet we'll find the source of the problem down there. Let's go. Okay, so for the shake, I guess I have to wait until he latches on. I usually preempt it, I guess, too early. Get down using this!
take a double grenade. Hunters finally. in the deck though. Level is brutal. Holy crap, dude. Expecting a quick time event. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll start. Ah, no first aid spray. I already wasted it. Ah, there's some healing around the corner, though, if I need it. That's the problem too, is that like I'm shooting them and they're just like not even moving. Unless I get a critical hit and then at which point they do move.
let's go back to the pistol. That's the guy from the picture. Marcus? But you're dead! Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated and stole all of my research. However, something wondrous happened. The T-Virus fused with the leeches and brought me back from the darkness of death. Now, I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate! Well, I mean, I feel bad for you, but, you know, I, I, I Umbrella. Alright, we'll, we'll save that for later. Oh, I missed it. Working. Oh, so they really just fast forwarded all the way to the end. There's 
It doesn't like sunlight. Now we we're better keep our distance. I could swallow us whole. Mutate a Bulbasaur. Won't you ever give up? Oh, uh, so I, when he's in the sun, I want to pour all the fire. In. <laughs> Dude, what oh, was no. that crap? Hey, All of a sudden, now he's not moving back. Like, look, we're just slowly going back and forth. There we go. Overall, not a bad fight, to be honest. More fair than some of the other ones. He doesn't have Billy jumping in and firing the final shot, or whoever it was. I, I guess remember. it's time to say goodbye. People are waiting for me. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Rebecca, thank you.
pair overcame impossible odds and made it out alive. Lucky, I suppose. Since the event, Billy Cohen has gone missing. While Rebecca is about to enter a new nightmare as she heads for the mansion. Mm, yes. Oh, it's gonna be garbage. <laughs> F. F. Eh, not bad. Ugh, zero obtained. Grenade launcher. AT. Resident Evil Zero One Digest. Resident Evil Zero Digest 2. Mansion Incident 1 is now available. Wesker Scenario Beginning Chapter 1 is now available. Huh. All right, results, SSB. All right, let's check a look at our archives to see what we got. All right, let's check out the Zero Digest. Bizarre murder cases with people being found dead. Their bodies have eaten or are being reported in the areas near Raccoon City. The city's elite special forces unit, STARS, sent their Bravo team to the scene. However, due to the mysterious engine failure, mysterious engine failure, Bravo team's helicopter crash landed in the forest. Uh, Bravo team narrowly escaped with their lives and stumbled onto a heavily damaged prison convoy and the brutally dismembered corpses of the Marines in charge. Enrico Martini, Bravo team's commander, ordered that a search be made for Billy Cohen, a former Marine who escaped from the convoy. You know, that's right. I totally forgot about Enrico. Uh, the newest member of Bravo team, Rebecca Chambers, uh, discovered a train stopped in the woods and went inside to investigate. Apparently, the train had met with some kind of accident as she found all the passengers dead. One of the supposedly dead passengers came to life and attacked Rebecca. Completely surrounded and facing certain death, the prisoner, Billy Cohen, was responsible for her rescue. Rebecca was still suspicious of Billy, but realized that they needed to work together if they wanted to survive the nightmare. Shortly after, the train suddenly started to move. It accelerated and was rapidly approaching dangerous speeds. To prevent the imminent derailment, the pair engaged to break. However, it was too late and the train rolled on its side. The two barely managed to escape the wreck, waiting near... Near them was Umbrella's management training facility. Digest 2. The management training facility had been closed down since the death of Dr. James Marcus. Parasitic leeches taking the form of humans were attacking any trespassers that entered the abandoned facility. It was true terror come to life. The two Umbrella officers, Albert Wesker and William Birkin, were aware of the unfolding events. They were sent to recover the facility, but the plan fell apart when the endless waves of attacking monsters. While monitoring Billy and Rebecca's progress, they began to sense a presence bent on Umbrella's destruction and decided to destroy the facility. Rebecca and Billy came to trust and rely on each other while struggling through the nightmarish circumstances. Rebecca realized that Billy did not have it in him to have murdered the 23 innocent people. The pair eventually met with their re reanimated Marcus. He told them the startling story of how he was assassinated 10 years ago. He had just successfully replicated the T-Virus after years of researching, researching leeches when two of Oswell E. Spencer's employees, Albert Westgard and William Birkin, assassinated him and stole his research. They, the evolved leeches start uh, attach themselves to Marcus' corpse, absorbing his DNA into their own until eventually creating a copy of him. This new Marcus sought event, uh, revenge on Umbrella and the world by initiating the outbreak of the T-Virus to the surrounding raccoon forest, resulting in a full-scale biohazard. The copied Marcus eventually transformed to the Queen Leech while the timer began to run down, a bomb that was set uh, to level the facility. Rebecca and Billy knew what had to be done as the curtain of the last battle rose. That's it for that. One's new. Alright. Well, that was it for that, I guess. Uh, let's see here. We have customize. I just really wish that they would let us upgrade the main weapon. Uh, power increase. Yeah. I do really want power increase. 
customization maxed out. So it really looks like level four is the that's the highest that we can go. Um, as far as the next one, it said something about oh beginnings one. I see. All right. Well, it looks like we're not done with this one. So uh, when we come back, we'll uh, we'll go back to the Wesker um, Albert Wesker's uh, portion. So. All right, friends. Well, with that being said, it's been a pleasure as always. I know spending, taking your time out of your day, yeah, is important. Yeah, you know, your time is valuable, and I aim not to waste it. So, with that being said, friends, um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.